Hi there, how are you? It's been a while since I have filmed. The holidays have happened, we've got through Christmas, we've done the New Year's. <sighs> Thank God, right? Like, I don't know, like I always get a little bit of like a melancholy feeling whenever the holiday season ends, but at the same time, I'm totally ready to get back into my flow, get back into my business and get back to normal life. Like, I don't know, I feel like the holidays, just turn into a great big party like that full last week from Christmas Eve on through January 1st. It's just, I don't even know what day it is. Um, so yeah, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a haul. This is two weeks worth of thrifting for me. Thrifting has been a major challenge. I'm not going to sugarcoat this in any way. I've had a lot of issues finding inventory, a lot of issues finding enough to keep me busy. So I'm excited to share what I have. It's some of it's good, some of it's okay. And then some of it's just like, well, I would never pick that up. But if you were in the thrifting drought, like I am right now, we're desperate to keep new listings going up on our, in our stores and on our Poshmark closets. So that's what we're going to talk about today. I'll talk about how much I paid for it, what the comps have looked like. I'll try to put some comps on the screen if I can find them. And hopefully, you know, you'll learn something as we go through here. My name is Caitlin. Um, and I live in a small town in Pennsylvania. So these are the things that I find to sell. And the purpose of my channel is just to show that you don't have to find the big prestigious brands in order to turn a profit and be able to resell. So the first thing I'm going to show you is by J. Jill, and this is a love linen item, and this is a 4X, and it's just a basic green linen button up top. I just ironed this, I'm ready to photograph it. I, play, I paid $2.50 for this. I'm thinking I will get like $25. Anytime I list anything that is a high, like a larger plus size, like 3X, 4X, 5X, it sells like that. Because there's just not a lot of clothing for these ladies on the market that is decent and nice. I also wanna get this listed because St. Patrick's Day is coming and so isn't spring and this is perfect to transition from spring into summer. Another J. Jill item, this is a small. I typically like to pick up bigger sizes in J. Jill, but I loved the almost Southwestern um, kind of pattern on this. This is what they call a popover. It's a V-neck and um, it doesn't like button or anything. It's just like a V-neck collared shirt without the button up part and they call that a popover. So I'm thinking I will get about $20 for this. I paid $2.50. Here's a Chico's piece. This is Chico's size one, which translates into like an eight to 10. It's not one of the bigger ones. Again, if I pick up Chico's, I like to get the larger sizes. However, it's been rough. Like I said, I'm not gonna keep repeating that, but that is basically the theme for this entire haul. Um, it's a button up. It's just a basic, you know, it's got a nice pattern. I can see this really being awesome for like fall, but it's in great condition. It was $2.50. This is Duluth Trading Company. Uh, I don't pick up all of their things. I'm picky. This is the reason why I picked this up is because it's organic cotton and it's a medium. It's their relaxed fit button up shirt. And it's an interesting looking pattern. I think, I think this will definitely sell. That I believe was $3. I grabbed this marmot shirt, extra large, large. I'm thinking 19 to 20. Um, there's a logo embroidered here in the back. I love the colors, the short sleeve button up shirt. I am just thinking the colors are great for summer because that is what I am focused on now. I am focused on spring and summer. It is January. People who have purchased their winter wardrobe are pretty well done purchasing winter items. This is the next wave. It's time to start preparing for the upcoming spring and summer months. So that's what I try. I mean, if I find things in the, that are winter related, that are a good deal and are a good brand, I'm going to buy it. But when I'm thrifting, my intention is to find things that are for the spring and summer season. So that's what I grabbed this for. This is not really a brand um, that the, I'm sorry, the Marmot shirt was 250. This is not a brand that I typically will pick up very often, but I liked that it was a size 2X. It is bit and bridle. It is also just a gorgeous, navy and white gingham button up top. I mean, just classic, in great condition, $3. I paid up a little, when I say paid up, I paid full price, not half price for this. I grabbed this little A-line, cotton A-line skirt. The brand is Lily Pulitzer and it's teeny tiny. It's a size two. It's got the side zip, 
but it's really cute. I'm thinking probably $25, maybe 30. Skirts are harder to sell, but I love the pattern. Um, really great for spring and summer. It's lined, it's a nice skirt, no stains, no nothing. I paid $5 for this. This item, this is the first time I found this brand. This is Arcteryx and this is a medium and this brand is a bolo. So I've, I just know it because I've seen it on other YouTubers channel, like other YouTube videos, but this is um, just a women's top. I think this might even be like an older uh, style, but like you see the window pane plaid with the purple, has a little zip pocket with the little embroidered lizard looking logo, but keep that Arcteryx in your head. Um, I did comp this in store and it was comping about 35 to $45. I paid $4.50 for this. This may have been a mistake. Um, I love this brand, but it's really not one that does as well anymore. This is Vineyard Vines, and these are $14, and the style, these are a dollar. The style's a little dated. They're like a green chino uh, khaki pant. Nothing extraordinary about these pants other than they're a size 14, which is nice, and they're a nice basic. So we'll see what happens. I figured even if I only get about $15 for them, I'm still going to make money because they were a dollar. So I just grabbed them. Same with these. This is not an amazing pickup. It's just, this is American Eagle. And these are the kick boot jeans. Let me say kick boot. And I love American Eagle because they always have like the style embroidered on them. And then of course these are an eight short. So I've mentioned before that I love to pick up specialty sizes like shorts and longs because they're a little bit more rare. These were a dollar. I kind of couldn't believe it because um, boot cut jeans are kind of making a comeback. They're in great condition. They, like I said, were a dollar. Uh, I'm hoping to get closer to $20 for these, but I know I can solidly sell older style American Eagles for $15 a pair very easily, but I'm hoping to get more like 20 because they are the shorts. I'm not sure how this is going to do. I'm kind of taking a risk here. This is vintage and it's got this adorable like little embroidered rose pattern here and you know, a little bit of fading on the rope ties here and then more of it here. This is a zip up, but the brand is Victoria's Secret Country. And I'm pretty sure this sells for quite a bit of money. Uh, I have never found it before. A friend of mine did, and I think it was like a nightgown piece that she sold for like $50. So I'm thinking this is going to sell for a decent amount. I love the emerald green color, and it's that like short, fuzzy, I don't even know. Like, would you call this Sherpa? I don't even know. Um, I don't know. I think it's in great condition for how old, I think this was 90s. I, I'm pretty sure this, this Victoria's Secret Country movement was the 90s. So I'm definitely, you know, interested to see how this goes. I'll keep you, I'll keep you posted, obviously. Uh, I'm looking for another tag to see if there's any like, nah, there's nothing else that's gonna tell me. Like the age, like now Victoria's Secret has the age of the items, like the date they were made, but I mean, there's a few like stray stringies I gotta cut off, but I think this is going to do well. I'm going to aim high with this. I'm thinking I'm gonna list it for $49.99. Here's my final $1 pickup from my thrifting yesterday, and it's Michael Kors. Not an amazing brand. Um, probably a good $15 to $20 for this. These are a size eight, and they're just like a cropped, like boot cut style jean with like a slit in them. Very basic. They do have the logo in the back, uh, but they were a dollar. And like I said, if I could flip them for 15 to $20, I'll do that all day long. You know me, I love to sell jeans. I picked this up. This is the first thing I grabbed yesterday when I was out thrifting. This is a Puma and Ferrari collab velour zip up sweatshirt. It is a little faded. Uh, but I think it's still going to do just fine. It's an extra large men's and it even has on the inside the foiled Ferrari official product tag. I did not find, here's the back. 
I did not find a specific um, comp for this specific item. However, I've heard about it before. Like you can see some of the fading in the cuff. I mean, it is, it, but it's still not drastically bad. Um, but there's a little patchy patch. But I'm hoping I can get 40 for this. Maybe, we'll see. Bread and butter for me. These pants are Talbots. They're a cotton, probably ankle length, size 12. Oh, these are the classic side zip pants. Looks like a nice medallion pattern. Let me show you the tag in case you've never seen Talbots before. I'm sure you have, but I love, I am a label lover. Like I, like, what do they call it? Label porn? I love label porn. I found this. This is Talbots. It's a Swiss dot, large, petite, three quarter length top. It was $2. There's the tag for it. Nothing fancy, just another top. 15 to $18. This is a um, experiment for me. These are airy. They're just black solid leggings. I heard other resellers talking about these, like that they're getting a solid 25 bucks for these airy, which is American Eagle active brand leggings. Really? $25 for used American Eagle leggings? The Airy brand, not the American Eagle brand, the Airy brand. We'll see. These are a medium. I paid $3 for them. I know I will make my money back. I will not lose money. I know I can solidly probably sell these for 15 easily, but 25, like apparently these, are, like these are being picked up. People want these, especially the ones that kind of cross over in the front and have the flare leg. Apparently that's more what people are looking for, but I thought I would just give it a whirl with these. These um, aren't just black, but they have this exaggerated hem, which I thought was kind of nice. This was fun. I was excited to find this. This is a maxi skirt with the eyelet style um, embroidery on it. Elastic waist, drawstring. This is by the brand Poetry. Looks like these. And um, this, it's lined, it's really pretty. This is a size 14. And I found this out because the size tag is missing, but it is also inside on here. I believe it was a 14, was it a 14? Yeah, 14. And this is cotton and silk blend. Really, really nice, comping in around $35. So I'm really excited. It's a bigger size. It's perfect for the upcoming spring, summer season. It's a good basic, but not boring. It's got that organic fiber with the silk. So I am here for it. Can we say hello, Y2K called and they want their sweatshirt back? Um, this was, I think, amazing. This is Polo Jeans Company. So it's Ralph Lauren Polo Jeans. Um, it's so, it is so early 2000s. It's not even funny. It's cream off white, not a mark on it, size large. And I don't even know if this has really been worn. Like look how plush the, um, the inside still is. Like, you know how they get kind of nappy from being washed. Uh, there is a little bit of a mark right there. I just found, but I'll dab at that with a wipe and see if any of that lifts out. I'm still going to sell this. That's a very tiny, very inconsequential mark. So otherwise it's beautiful. So I love it, right? I wish it would fit me. I also picked this up and I need to spend some more time looking at it, but this is Woolrich, vintage Woolrich. And I paid $9 for this, I paid up. Now, this is marked, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, irregular, right here. I have looked this thing over completely. And I, all the snaps work, all the zippers work. I do not see anything weird in the stitching, no holes, nothing. I cannot find why this is irregular, but I bought it anyways, because I figure if I can't find it, then it has to be very minor. It's got this beautiful plaid lining. Um, I believe it's wool. No, but it's cotton and polyester. So it's definitely, um, really nice like the corduroys I don't even know if this has been worn but that's how nice this is I found soul comps for $50 that's why I paid $9 for this 
So I will keep you posted. It is a little later in the season than I like for something like that. But again, like I said earlier in the video, I want spring, summer, but if I come across something nice, I'm gonna pick it up. Oh, I'm sorry, these were a dollar too. I thought I was through my dollar items, but I found these Chico's, Chico's size two, just a peach colored skinny jean. Um, again, I'm thinking I'll get 15 bucks, but again, like I said, they were a dollar. Spring's coming, that's it. I wish I could say there was some like grand something about some of this stuff. There's not. I picked this up. This is definitely more winter, but it's, what does this say, Heshi 2? Definitely vintage, definitely adorable. It's like a fuzzy woolen feeling front, cotton back, needs a little bit of a lint roll, but adorable, I think I paid 250 for it. I picked up this skirt because I love the pattern of the plaid. It's got pockets. I believe it's Talbot's. It's been two weeks since I bought it. Oh yes, Talbot's size 10, newer label, lined. Just thought it was really cute. It was 250. I like Talbot's. I like selling Talbot's. It's easy. People buy it, especially the plus sizes. Grab these BCBG Max Azria pants, leggings, snakeskin. They were cheap, like $2. And I'm desperate for inventory. That was pretty much it. I thought this was nice. This Cold Water Creek zip up knit sweater vest. I loved the patterns on it. Um, it's a 1X. It's really, really nice. Had decent comps like $25. So I grabbed that. Cold Water Creek is typically a brand I don't get, but it did comp right, so I grabbed it. Same Bryant Cold Shoulder Top, 14 16 uh, I think I paid a dollar for it. Has this pretty embroidery. So I grabbed it. I know cold shoulders kind of out, but I thought this was cute. So I thought for that price, we'd give it a whirl. And that's pretty well it. Oh, wait, these are kind of the star of the show. How could I forget my, my major pickup as I hold them opposite sides? So these are the Coach Edison heels and they have these like, um, grommet looking flowers and they're an ankle strap so they buckle around the ankle leather upper leather sole they are a size six i thought they were a nine. Oh no maybe they're nine they're nine i'm sorry these are a nine i knew that i thought they were this is what they look like underneath there's a little like horse and carriage and the logo i don't think these have ever been worn they're in excellent condition I found a couple pairs listed and they look like they're listed in the $75 to $80 range. They're in beautiful condition. I was very excited. I paid up for these. Um, they're buttery soft. Um, I paid $13 for these, $12.99. Um, I think it's worth it if I'm going to get $75, $80 for these, which is where I'm hoping to land. Uh, I think $13 is definitely an investment worth that. They're just really, really nice. I do need to take the uh, Wonder Balsam to them and just make sure they're in tip top condition, but really pretty shoes. The award for the worst YouTuber goes to me because I went thrifting this morning and I got three items. I told you it's been a drought, but I'll show you what I picked up. I grabbed, these are new with tag, Levi's, um, the straight leg jean. They're the 505s. I paid $2.50 for these and they are a size 12 long. So that's, I didn't even know what size they were. I just picked them up, but you can see their new tags. It was a good pickup because of the specialty sizing. They're dusty. They need to be lint rolled. Um, I can't wash them. And then there's also some schmutz, like some white schmutz, which I, it comes off. So I'm just going to take a wipe to it. So I don't know what I'm going to sell these for. I haven't commented. I'll put it on the screen. Um, Black denim doesn't sell as fast, but I figured for $2.50, we'll go there. Picked up these Susan Graver pants for $2.50. They're a medium, that's Susan Graver, but they're these really funky, like blue and black geometric stretchy pants. I don't know. Will they sell? I don't know. What will they sell for? I don't know. I just needed inventory and they were kind of cool, so I bought them. And lastly, for real, I got this Eddie Bauer vest for $4. It's a medium, looks like this. It's a lightweight 
layering vest. Not really like a puffer, kind of quilted, kind of stretchy. Um, definitely great to like go into the spring months with like hiking and camping. Would even be good in the summer because it tends to get cold in the evenings, but I thought this was nice, right? For $4. I don't know what it's gonna sell for, but I bought it. And that's pretty well everything I have hauled the last week or so, week or two. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to be back filming the what solds here very soon and hopefully catch up. I'm still in October, <laughs> like queen of procrastination. Uh, put my crown on my head and yeah. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you have not already. Hit the thumbs up button. I know it sounds so redundant and so annoying, but that really does help YouTubers, especially like me, since I'm a tiny channel. It shows YouTube that this is good content. Please, you know, suggest it to other people. So. If you could do that for me, that would be awesome. I would really appreciate it. Feel free to comment down below if you have anything you would like to add or share, and I would love to read it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.